Hey everyone, welcome back. So I hope everybody's doing great. Before we get started today, I wanna to thank all of you for your support um, concerning the fires. So just as a little update, the big, big fires are under control finally and things seem to be um, a lot better now. We still do have fires like every day, which I'm sure a lot of places do. It's just that it was a lot more than we've ever had. Um, I think that percentage-wise for the area covered that was burned, um, we were like number one in Europe. It was 450% increase from the average of the previous year. So yeah, it was really bad. So thank you guys so, so much. Also, my heart goes out to Haiti um, for the earthquake. I mean, it, it's just so devastating. And just I'm sending all my prayers to anybody who has been affected there. So for today's reading, um, I'm actually quite short on time, so I think I'm just going to focus on the masculines today and possibly do a separate video for the feminines maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. So this is for Divine Soulmates, Twin Souls. Um, we're going to be looking at what is going on currently and then also what is coming up. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody, so do keep that in mind. All right. Oh, and if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So let's see, what is going on with the masculines currently? I know things are getting intense again. I feel like we had a bit of a slow period at some point, but things are getting intense lately. All right, and we have perception beyond the veil of illusion. All right, so this is all about a shift when it comes to perception and the way that the masculine is viewing various situations. I feel like this has to do with their life overall in general, but also when it comes to their feminine. So we're actually gonna get a few more and get more details here. There is something that they are beginning to see more clearly and just really removing that veil that was keeping them from seeing the reality, right? Um, seeing some illusions, and I feel like that's, again, it's not only about their feminine, it's about their life in general, possibly some core beliefs, um, stereotypes, just the way that they have been brought up, societal norms, all of those things, whatever has been an illusion, it's like now they're beginning to see through that. All right, and we also have door to spirit. So yes, this is definitely a new door that is opening up. And not only that, this door that is opening up, um, which is more con being more connected to the spiritual realm, all right, being more connected to the divine. And once that door opens, there's also a sense of freedom that comes along with that, liberty and expression as well. So all of these things are somehow going to be playing out or are already playing out for the masculines. We will get more specific, but let me just get a few more oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot. Let's see. All right, see, so yeah, we have material world, shadow work, and awakening. So this is really about um, releasing the materialistic aspects of their lives. What is it that was keeping them too much focused in the 3D on the um, material, right, in the physical world? So whether that be status, money, um, society's views on them, how other people perceive them, just wanting things for the wrong reasons, all right, all of that is what is coming now to the surface, all right? Like being able to see that shadow aspect of their own self and awakening, right? So I love that we're beginning with um, removing that veil of illusion and ending this row here with awakening because both of these cards talk about being able to see more clearly. That's what happens when you begin to awaken. So this is a lot of being able to see some truths here, destroying the illusions of the material world, being able to see their own shadows through this process and what it is that has kept them 
stuck more in the 3D. So, let's get into the tarot. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with them overall. Just in their life right now. That might be affecting them. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, notice how they are all pentacles, right? So this is talking again about the material world. So what's happening here is that the way that they were living their life in the 3D, all right, <clears throat> the choices that they had made here, it's like there's a blockage there now. There's a blockage there. There's a shift that needs to take place. And it's like they're not continuing on in a path that they had started. So whatever path they were on before that was focused on the 3D, on the material world, as I said before, it's going to be different for everybody what that could be. Um, that, it's like there's an ending to that, all right? That, that path is blocked with this Knight of Pentacles. It's like not doing that anymore, not moving on that initial path anymore and beginning to reorganize the whole plan, reorganizing what their life should look like, what their life should be what the results that they want are. I feel like what this is about is that part of the illusion was what did they think was going to bring them positive results, right? So whatever they thought that was, was an illusion. So it's those things that are now being reconsidered and reorganized realizing that that did not bring about the results and there are different plants that I need, um, sorry, different seeds that I need to plant <laughs> in order to get the results that I want. All right, let's see what else. What else is going on here for these masculines? Right, so we have the three of wands, the hanging man in reverse, and death in reverse. I also have the six of swords kind of fall out, um, so just keeping that in mind as well. So there's a lot of thinking about the future, thinking about the future and reconsidering because there is something that has been keeping them um, stuck and resisting change. So there is a huge, huge transformation I feel that is about to take place, <clears throat> but they're like right on the verge of it. Like it, it isn't really taking place just yet, but it's lurking right there, right in front of their face. I feel like they're actually looking at it, whatever it is that needs to be changed. This is a realization of what it is that needs to be changed. And not only that, uh, it's an understanding that Having done the same thing over and over and over again has held them back from allowing that change to take place. Something in their world, something in their material world needs to end. And this is something that they are actually looking at when thinking about their future. So we will clarify um, some of these, but I do want to get just one more row. Let's actually see a little bit more specific when it comes to the feminine. So let's see. What is their energy towards the divine feminine? Alright, we have the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Star in reverse. Actually, let me just put these here.
So it's interesting that we have the Nine of Cups upright, but then we have the star in reverse because this is a little bit of um, a contradiction here. The masculine is feeling a lot of passion for the feminine at the moment, all right? Not only passion, I feel almost even feeling possessive, okay? And that could be for different reasons. Maybe you would know what is going on in your, in your connection right now. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is just a little bit more general, so I'm not getting into those specifics, but something is happening at the moment, even if you're not in contact, the masculine is beginning to feel a little bit possessive over the feminine, and I feel like this is actually because for a lot of men, they feel like, like they can't have you now. All right, they feel kind of like there's, um, that they're losing the hope for whatever reason. Again, I will clarify these. Let me get one more row, and then we'll clarify So before I get into these, um, I just want to say one more message that <clears throat> that came through for this top row is that this masculine is also kind of going back and forth between feeling like <clears throat> like they have hope, like they really, really want this. They're wishing to have their um, their divine feminine, right? And feeling actually very, very confident about it, about being able to achieve that that fulfillment and then kind of then feeling the opposite, feeling like there is no hope, okay? And again, it's going to be for different reasons. For some of them, it might be because of their own self, and for others, it might be because they just feel that the feminine is no longer um, interested or that there will just be, <clears throat> there has been too much deterioration of the connection, okay? So down here, we have, they're all in reverse. We have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Three of Cups all in reverse, so again, having the Seven of Cups um, in reverse here, this is, again, it's the removal of the veil of illusion, right? Being able to see beyond that. So whatever confusion there was, and I feel like a lot of this confusion wasn't, yes, it was also for some of them how they feel about the Divine Feminine because this connection was just so powerful that it could have been overwhelming. And then for others, it's about whether or not they can actually manage to make things happen in a way where this could work even for them, right? Because there's a lot of fear that the masculine has been holding on to. So this is being able to see that more clearly, being able to see their own strength and their own um, ability <clears throat> to overcome obstacles, being able to see that more clearly. <clears throat> um, this is even the Five of Swords being in reverse here, this is all about coming out of that self-sabotage type of an energy. <clears throat> and of course my throat's going to act up <laughs> when I'm doing this, this type of a reading. Um, so yeah, not wanting to lie anymore. This is wanting to come out of the lies that they may have been telling themselves, which again is related to those illusions. Now these lies, they were all about the feeling like you know they can never be happy or that they cannot have this union or that a reunion with the feminine is not going to bring them happiness. This is what they are beginning to um, admit now to themselves that this was all a lie. It's just mind games. It's games that and tricks that their own minds were playing on them. And I'm glad to see that the Seven of Cups is in reverse because <clears throat> this means that they are now seeing this clearly, understanding it was just their mind playing tricks on them. All right, so before we look at what is coming up, let's um, let's clarify. Let me clarify that Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Nine of Wands and then we have the Moon in Reverse. All right, so this is Again, even more shadow work here that is being done, more repressed emotions, more um, distorted views that are now being brought up to the surface to be seen in a realistic way. This is a lot, I feel like this is very sudden for them as well. It's like a sudden um, flash of clarity, a sudden flash of 
wow, like I now see, I can now see what is really going on. Whatever this is though, whatever that the masculine is seeing about the path that they have been on all this time, this is actually very uncomfortable for them with the Nine of Wands. It's something that is creating a lot of discomfort and I feel like it's creating a lot of um, anguish actually is what's coming through here. Feeling like, okay, you know, this is not easy to really accept. It's not easy to come to terms with it, but I've now seen it. I cannot unsee it. I cannot all of a sudden just unsee the truth that I have just seen. So for some of them, this could actually even be something very, very specific. It could be something very, um, you know, solid in their lives and understanding that they were on the wrong path, right? Ace of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a time for them to make adjustments with the Seven of Pentacles. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It's definitely, I feel like there's a part of them that wants to actually resist it. And this could explain why, like I said, there's also that back and forth with the, with the feminine, because some of this could even be related to the connection with the feminine, right? Whatever it is that's going on in their own world, and those difficulties kind of leak into the connection with the feminine. And so on the one hand, they've seen the truth. So it's like, yeah, you know, I want, now that I've seen the truth, I understand this is, I can go after this, I can do it. I can go after my wish fulfillment, which is the divine feminine. And then, you know, they feel the challenge of whatever that is, the adjustments that need to be made. And then they might have, you know, a little bit of doubts or feeling like they don't have much hope. Um, <clears throat> I feel like overall though, <clears throat> it's the hope that is winning. All right, because like I said, they cannot unsee what they've seen. They cannot all of a sudden deny the truth once it has been revealed to them, to them in such a profound way. All right, so let's see, let's see death. Death is actually in reverse. All right, interesting. So we have death in reverse again, as well as the three of pentacles in reverse. So again, it's another pentacles card here. So this is what needs to be changed. And like I said, they're still kind of in, in this waiting energy, all right? They're, I do feel like this is a huge step. This is a very big deal, actually. It's very significant what is happening. Um, there's, they're looking at it. That's the thing, they're looking at it. And I, like I said, I feel like that ending, that transformation, that change, it's like right in front of their face. Like they, this is something that needs to be accepted. And whatever that is, again, it's coming through as being in the material world. So it's something, it's not just the way that they view things. Yes, that is a part of it. It is the perception as well, but it's this perception that is leading them to understand that, all right, well, since my perception of this situation has changed, this is why I also need to change something in the actual physical world, in my material world, whether that be work, whether that be another um, relationship, whether that be just relationships with family, with other people, my relationship with society overall, but physical things need to change because of that. For some of them, it could even be um, addictions. Just the way that they are handling things and going about living their lives. For some of them, it could be, you know, who they choose to date. Actually, let me get one more here for this row anything that wants to come through. And we have the Five of Swords, which we had here in reverse. So yeah, this is what needs to change. It's the deception, whatever it is that has been an illusion, the mind games. They realize that whatever it is that was happening here, the way that they have been living their lives, it's because there was something that was distorted in their own minds. Again, it's that, this is just the way the Five of Swords is coming through to me. 
um, minds, their my own minds playing tricks on them. And for some of them, yes, definitely could be the people that um, they are associated with, whether that be a relationship, again, whether it be work, something is going against their true self and their true values that are at a soul level. And that's what this is. This is beginning to end the 3D beliefs and values that have been given to them by society. It, they have come in from the outside. They're not truly their own. So this is huge. This is um, seeing the deception here. So if there are people that have been manipulative, if there are people that have been deceptive to them in their lives, it's seeing that and understanding that by not having done anything, because see, this is the thing, they want to get unstuck from not allowing that change. They want to get unstuck from the resistance of that change. All right, so let's uh, move to the other side here, which is um, their energy towards the feminine. I feel like the first row was very clear. Let me just clarify the um, second row. Just overall, oops, wrong deck. Sorry, one sec. All right, second row. I'm just gonna take this top one. All right. Which again, I mean, it's even a similar message here with this Five of Swords, like, like not wanting whatever manipulation has been in their lives to affect their connection with the feminine. All right, understanding that whatever that manipulation was or whatever that deception was, whether it was from other people or whether it was from their own self, that has kept them from being able to have this connection with their feminine. And this is something that, that, that is not feeling very good to them, all right? So here we have judgment, the seven of pentacles again, and the ace of pentacles. So it's just really, it's the same type of messages coming through again and again. Judgment, clarity, discernment, awakening, transformation. Um, it cannot be more clear, all right? The seven of pentacles, seeing that they, they need to organize their lives in a different way when it comes to the material world. All right, again, again, an Ace of Pentacles. It's exactly that, that is the message. So actually, yeah, very specific message this time. So let's see what is coming up in the next week or so for the masculines. All right, and we have the Justice, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Swords. All right, so right off the bat, just even starting this off with Justice, all right? Um, this is bringing things into alignment, Justice being served basically, wanting to bring things into balance, getting on the right path here, which is oftentimes the more difficult path. It means that something else needs to be um, left behind, which is the way that they have been living, whatever that illusion was in the material world. Again, I don't feel like it's easy, and this is why we then have the Page of Swords. It's like taking those first steps in that direction, having a fresh new perspective on this situation. So <clears throat> I do feel like there is a progression here from what is going on now. Um, I feel like it is happening gradually but not that slowly either all right because we do have justice so things are falling into place like big time all right again and that is being even more so reinforced i feel with the seven of pentacles showing up twice um moving away from something that was not serving them because now they can see clearly pretty much fresh new perspective on things and i feel like whatever this um fresh new perspective is it's based in truth it's based in reality it's based in justice. Whatever was not seen before is being seen now, basically. Um, so I will get a couple just for their energy towards their feminines coming up in the next week or so.
All right, and we have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Wands, and we have the Three of Swords. All right, okay, so definitely wanting, um, feeling the passion still, all right? Just like I said before with the King of Wands, wanting a new beginning here, wanting to reignite things, but at the same time, they're feeling a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain associated to this. This is the masculine really wanting to resolve any conflicts, all right? Resolve any arguments that may have happened. They just don't want this tension between themselves and their feminine, all right? But this is going to manifest in different ways for, for um, for all of you, but for those of you who are in contact, I feel like, you know, if there has been any arguing, if there has been tension between the two of you, the masculine wants to kind of make up or resolve this, <clears throat> resolve this argument, resolve the tension, the conflict, whatever that might be. All right, but there's also some, some heartbreak here. I feel like that's on their side. That's on their side. There's a little bit of, um, pain and it could be because of what is going on here. So just, I feel like this might be a message for some of you to keep in mind that they might be a little bit um, sensitive, some of them, all right? Again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Um, for others, if you, if you are not in contact, well then this could also be why they are um, going to be feeling this pain because they don't want to have this tension anymore between the two of you, they want to have a new beginning and for whatever reason, you know, if they're not able to do so at the moment, again, it's because they're processing whatever it is that's happening here in their in their life. So with that, let's get a final, I'll probably get a couple oracle cards to close out the reading. All right, and we have clean it up. You know what? <laughs> This is exactly like the Seven of Pentacles. This is what I've been saying, all right? They're cleaning their mess up in their personal life, mostly, I feel. Like in their life outside of the feminine, which in some way, indirectly or directly, does affect the connection with you, all right? They are cleaning that up, and for others of them, it's also trying to clean things up with, with the feminine. So actually, I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like this really just sums up the reading. Um... Yeah, that is it. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm sending everybody so much love. Bye.